Guys, everybody in the room heard him saying that his imams saying that Surat Al-Ahzab was the same as the cow surah. Did he say that? As size. Did he say that? Which means there is a lot of verses missing. If we go to the cow surah, thank you very much for posting it. Thank you very much, Mr. Salafi. I like that. Listen, can you tell me, can you tell me how many verses now is the difference between the Ahzab and the cow surah? This is your surah, this is your words from your text saying that Al Ahzab surah was the same as the size as the cow surah. Guys, are you listening to me? This is will prove now from his mouth that there is not even one verse is missing, there is tons of them. Why? Because if we go and see how big is the Ahzab Surah and how big is the Cow Surah, we will see that there is hundreds of verses is missing. Chicago, you are in a very deep trouble now. Let us see your mic. Exactly my point, Christian Prince. You dug yourself in a hole because you said that in that the verses were eaten by the goat and in, in under who came into Aisha's room, okay? And that is why the verses were missing. That is why you said that the verses were missing. But that's not the case because from this hadith we realize that there were other verses from this surah that were not to be included in the Quran. So therefore, your point is invalid. Therefore, your point is invalid, Christian Prince. Okay? So therefore, your point is invalid, and therefore you have to close the... Then you have to close the room. Because your point is invalid. Because what we're saying is here... Let me read it again as I posted in the room. Umar said to me, How many verses are contained in the chapter of, of, of Al-Ahzab? I said, 72 or 73 verses. He said, It was... Was, meaning past tense, Christian Prince. I know that sometimes English is a little bit... Uh, you know hard to understand for you sometimes, but he said it was almost as long as the chapter of the cow, meaning that it was removed from the Quran, and this is from the from the Sahaba during the time of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and because Umar radiallahu anh said this, and therefore Umar bin Khattab, the same Umar that you are saying who wanted to include the verse because he thought it was part of the Quran, is showing here that it was, and mean that it was not to be part of it, therefore your whole argument is defeated and weak. Your mic. Okay, thank you very much. So number one, you agreed that there is hundreds of verses is missing from Al Ahzab Surah. Guys, did you, did he agree? Did he agree? He did, because he's saying insist yes, they are missing. All what he said, he's saying see, it's not only the one about stoning to death. It's not about about only about sto you know feeding the adult from uh, from from a woman a breast. No, there's a lot of verses missing. You know, and what I said to you, the hadith is from your book saying that the goat did eat. So, I don't know how many verses the goat did eat. But from your word now, we can tell how many verses is been eaten by the goat. Is that correct, guys? So when we say the goat did eat those verses, those two verses, because this is what the Muslims told us. So we are going by what the Muslims written. We are being honest with you about what is written in the hadith. The hadith mentioned that according to the wife of Muhammad, not me. I'm not going to add, say, you know what, and she, you know, the goat she did, added, uh, uh, did eat a lot of Quran too. I cannot add things. I cannot make lies. But now you, you gave me another hadith saying that this surah, Al Ahzab Surah used to be almost, almost, which means what? Like there is different well, one verse, two verse? It's almost, it's what you said. The same as the Cow Surah. Now I want to ask you in the front of the room how many verses is the Cow Surah and how many verses is the Ahzab Surah? Can you tell me in the text, please? M Mr. Chicago, can you tell me how many verses is the Ahzab Surah and how many verses? Yeah, before I give you the mic, 
How many verses is the Hazab Surah and how many verses is the Kaf Surah? Guys, the Hazab is 72. This is his text, not my text, right? Okay, how many verses is the Kaf Surah? Okay, how many verses is missing? <laughs> this is a huge number, man. If you are saying they are almost the same, I will give you 10 verses discount. If 287, 287 minus 72, this is mean 215 verse is missing. You know what? I will give you a Christmas discount. 15 verse from me for your gift. So at least there is 200 verse is missing. And you agreed that this is true. Where is the 215 verse? Who took them off? Who ordered Muslims to take them off? Your mic and Muslims, Christians, listen carefully. Muslims agreeing that the Quran missing a lot of verses. Who took them? It is the goat. Otherwise, tell me where is your God Allah told you to take from that chapter alone, from one chapter, 200 verse missing. 215 verse, from one chapter only. And maybe your God, he gave the Quran shower with the... Hello everyone, peace of the Lord Jesus Christ with everyone. As you heard in the, in the, in the chat room, in the, the short debate with this guy, he approved that there is 215 verse is missing from one chapter. One chapter, 215 verse. When we ask him why, he say Allah, he don't want them there. And this is an absolutely lie because no one can tell me where, when the God of Islam, he said, don't put them there. To, to order you not to put them there, he have to give an order. Did he? Show me. No one can show you. So there's a lot of verses is missing and you know it doesn't make sense that God he sent verses he don't want them to be there and not only that if a Muslim he said to you well you know don't you know that in Islam there is something it's called abrogation abrogation okay you know what let me ask you abrogation it's mean you don't follow it anymore but as an example the stone to death chapter or surah or verse you know it is not abrogated but it's not there why Allah he took it off there's no reason this is this is sane this is crazy you know so Muslim cannot answer us why a lot of verses is missing so when we say that the God did eat a lot of verses from the Quran is true and they approve it but oh what they claim oh Allah he don't want it there so maybe Allah he ordered the God to eat it come on guys what kind of God this God is and why he sent it what for he's playing games he found himself making a mistake later after he sent it down this is an Islamic Shia side saying it clearly that the Quran is corrupted the one in the hand of the Sunnah like as an example this is one surah is missing from the Quran it's called Al-Wilaya Surah Al-Wilaya this is the Quran of Shia it is not exist this this chapter is not exist at all in the Muslim Sunnah uh, uh, book the Quran so Muslims when they say to you we have one Quran all Muslims this is a lie you can go and search right now in Google about Quran corruption Shia or Sunnah and you will see a lot this is all documentation you know it's not our side this is not my side this is an Islamic side so it's very clear that the corruption is a huge in Islam and the corruption of the Quran is a huge you know when I say corruption doesn't mean I approve the Quran by the way because when I say this book is corrupted it's mean I approve the original one uh, when I say corruption I mean that both the original and the corrupted one is corrupted and this is what Islam is about it's a book of contradiction book of illusion and the one who follow it he have to be mentally sick I never heard about a God he sent verses and he don't want it to be there so why you send it and when he said don't put it there show me nobody can show me show me where your God ever says don't put those verses there Jesus is Lord Islam is false Amen